today we uh, will be going to focus on how to write a good summary or the pressy writing pressy writing or the summary writing is one of the difficult tasks in any kind of writing means there are different ways to write we write the original piece we um, write you know articles we write uh, different kinds of uh, essays and passages but when we have though somebody's material in front of us and we are asked to summarize it then it becomes a bit tricky task so first we are going to focus or discuss what is actually a pressy and it is a basic and very useful skill and has been variously referred to as abbreviation subtraction abstract summary and condensation so if somebody asks someone to means abbreviate something or subtract something it means he or she might be asking to press to do the pressy of that thing or to make the summary of that thing if somebody says that this is the abstract of his or her work it means that it is the gist of his work or you can say the main ideas would be there in the abstract similarly if we call if we if we say condensation condensation is another name of pressy writing so students do not get confused while having these words these words are basically referred to the pressy writing the french gave it the name pressy the cloning away of all that is inessential so what is the basic meaning of pressy means removing all the inessential part of the writing having the only main components or the main ideas within the writing so what is a pressy a pressy is a brief original summary of important ideas given in a long selection here we have written original what does it mean original means we cannot add on our own ideas within the summary or within a pressy so we need to you know jot, jot down all the important ideas which are already given in that selection in that passage or in that component of writing its aim is to give the general effect created by the original selection so what is actually the aim what why we are asked to write a summary because some of the sometimes people do not have enough time to read the whole material all of the way means so uh, to better uh, to, to better tell others that what is the main idea and what would definitely be discussed in that particular part would be uh, arranged or would be would be uh, uh, would be made or would be uh, tell through would be told told through the pressy writing or a summary a simple piece of writing which can denote the whole piece of writing in minimum words without losing the main ideas or the originality of that piece it is a concise and lucid summary that forsakes all the unnecessary details in favor of reproducing the logic development organization and emphasis of the original it means it is concise in a very brief piece of writing that forsakes all unnecessary details it means that removes all unnecessary details in favor of means with the purpose of producing a logic development organization and emphasis of the original means the main purpose of the original writing would be would remain there in a pressy removing all the unnecessary detail it seeks to articulate another author's thoughts by extracting the maximum amount of information and carefully conveying it in a minimum number of words means the basic purpose of writing a summary of a person is to take the work of the of one's author and extract the maximum amount means the basic the main components of the writing would be extract from the source and then convey it in minimum number was minimum numbers of words means in minimum words we can we if somebody has the skill to produce the original kind of ideas or convey the original ideas in one summarization so it would be called a good pressing there is a several guide to write a good 
literacy and you know in intermediate we were asked to write the summary in bcom in bba and in mass communication also the students are asked to write summary so what is the basic guideline to write a successful or a good essay understand the essential facts or dominating ideas of the essay these are the key elements these are the key things which we should focus on while attempting or while writing a good essay understand the essential facts or dominating idea of the essay once we read the a writing or any writing we should focus on how to extract the main idea what is the main idea in the writing this is the very key uh, thing or key element to focus on while reading something for a press write in a in your opening sentence express what the passage or the passage tends to show means the main idea or you can say the title looking towards the title of something or the main idea of the something the the overwhelming idea which actually covers the all the things within the writing you need to point out that idea in the very first sentence with as few sentences as possible possible enlarge on the essential shown in the opening sentence you can also use the key elements which are used in the writing in the very first sentence of the essay means having the thought of the main ideas in the in the reading uh, when you read it the main ideas would retain in your memory so you first need to jot down those ideas or those words in in first or second sentences means first second third means the opening sentences summarize only what the author says do not add your own opinions this is the one important thing in pressy that you don't need to include your idea because pressy is meant to you know shrink down the ideas of uh, a particular author or the writer so you are not supposed to add your own ideas within the writing as far as possible use your own words instead of using your own ideas but you are encouraged to use your own words while composing a essay if you are using your own words you will be able to uh, have the ideas about the writing in your mind while writing your uh, writing on your own but if you copy down the words of the author you will be dependent on the passage which is given for uh, given to you for pressy and your writing will not you know will take more words to complete the idea ask whether the pressy is clear to one who has not seen the original means the idea behind the pressy writing is to have the completeness in it means you are not supposed to omit any kind of important element which is which should be there in the pressy so if some person reads it without having uh, without having the original piece in his hand or in her hand would definitely get the idea behind the press behind the writing the behind the pressy writing right so pressy writing does do does have a completeness in it it does not uh have you know incomplete ideas in it or the author or the right reader of the pressy would have a complete idea that from where the pressy uh, from where the pressy writing or on what piece the pressy has been written would have would cover these kinds of elements method so this is the method of writing pressy it will be well to remember the object of pressy writing means what is the object what is the purpose of pressy writing to have a brief and clear ideas in it means your pressy writing must be a brief and clear summary of a particular writing or pressy of what you have first carefully read means whatever you are writing let's suppose uh, if somebody ask you to uh, to tell the story of some of a movie which you have recently watched so definitely you will not going to uh, means if the total duration of that 
movie would be three hours. So you won't take three hours to dictate the whole story or the whole uh, movie. Rather, you will definitely uh, shrink the part, different, you know, unnecessary uh, scenes, or you will omit the different dialogues or the in, or the less important parts of the story, which you know, which are used to show the plot or or the theme of the story uh, of the story or that or the movie. So you would definitely uh, compress the idea or the movie into 15 to 15 to 20 minutes summary. So this is how we write the press as well. If the piece has thousand words, so we are we are supposed to uh, shrink down it in 250 words. So we need to you know one third or uh, one fourth of the original material. So no words, phrases, clauses, or sentences which are unessential to the thought of the selection are considered. Means in pressy writing, we omit different words, phrases, and even clauses or even the sentences which seem unessential to the thought of the selection. Means which we seem unessential to the main idea of the writing. If you think that this is one of the examples which is given in the writing to uh, you know support the argument of the author in one direction so we omit that particular example because it would take definitely different words to compose that idea every unnecessary word is discarded until all that you have left is thought the dominating idea of what you have read when you are reading the passage to summarize it, to make the summary or to make the pressy of that thing. So you need to, you know, delete the every other word which seem unnecessary in the pressy right, and which seem that it does not have the direct link with the with the main idea, and which can be omitted, or which can if it can be omitted the idea remains the same. So these unnecessary words should be discarded. Then in your own words, when you, you know, why we dis discarded those words? Because to have, we just, uh, you know, remove, remove the particular words used in the, in the passage to have the main gist of the idea. When we read, we come up with our own ideas. We don't retain the words of the author in our memory for a long time. But what we do have in our mind, the idea behind the writing. So you need to focus on the ideas rather than the words. When you are done with the idea taking of the material, you are now ready to write the summary. Then in your own words, give this thought as briefly as and clearly as possible means whatever the thought you have about the passage, about the reading, now you can compose in a very brief and a clear way. Your sentences must be carefully constructed, means you are supposed to give the maximum information in minimum words. The last thing, which is not the least, is do not omit any essential articles per position or conjunction this is one of the tricky thing in the press writing that do not omit any essential particles means when we are writing something so in uh, as a summary we count different words so in counting obviously uh and uh, like of or these kinds of words do also come in counting so we in you know uh, in in you know making the brief structures of the writing we omit we just remove these articles however it might be possible that removing these articles or preposition or conjunctions or you know the very uh, very uh, small words if we remove removing these words may lead the ambiguity of the writing means it may make your writing unclear, make your summary vague, 
make your summary unclear or make your summary uh, possibly uh, uh, having no idea in it. So you do not need to uh, omit these kinds of essential things in your writing. So compose the proper kind of sentences. Okay, now this is the whole procedure of writing summary. How can we write summary? First of all is giving the writing a first read. Mm. Read every word slowly and carefully. And we can say that scan the material. There's two ways of reading, scanning and skimming. So here we need to do the scanning. We need to use each and every word to have the idea of the writing until you clearly understand the sense of the passage. So you need to focus on each and every word. Look up all unfamiliar words, phrases, and allusions. Means there could be different kinds of words and the phrases and you know different kinds of construction. <clears throat> which may be unfamiliar to you. So you need to focus on those words as well. If you have, you know, if you are not in the examination center, you should focus, you should refer those words in dictionary. And if you are in the examination hall, you can take the help of context to get the idea of those words, which are not, you know, familiar to you. Identify the main, uh, identify the dominating idea, the essential thought of the passage. Ask if this idea were omitted or if that idea, uh, sorry, this idea was omitted, would the fundamental meaning of the passage be changed? Means you need to focus on different elements when you are reading, when you are focusing. Certain, come, certain things or certain ideas do come in your mind that whether the this sentence is very important and sometimes the idea comes in your mind that this is the very least important thing which the writer has mentioned in the writing. And this can easy be, easily be removed if we compose the prese because you have the purpose of reading in your mind. When you have a purpose in your mind before reading, so you can focus on the things which are necessary to be done while reading, while doing a particular thing. Right. So whenever you are focusing on and on uh, any particular idea which is given in the writing, you should have a question in your mind that this is this the fundamental thing, or or this can be removed while composing the essay. Determine what emphasis and space to give the thought in each section write a heading for each section let's suppose a writing is given to you and it has multiple paragraphs in it so what can you do you can make the titles of those th those particular paragraphs let's suppose in the late in the last classes on the previous classes we discuss how to make the topic sentences so Let's suppose you are reading a particular paragraph or the body paragraph of something which you are, you know, on which you are going to write the summary. So uh, on a particular paragraph, a particular paragraph must have a particular idea. So you need to focus on that particular idea and you need to mention that in that particular passage or in that particular paragraph, this particular idea has been discussed. So you can make a heading, you can make a sentence, no, you can do the things like that on your own. This is how the most of the people do for, for summary writing. If you people have a particular idea before uh, for composing a good summary writing, you can adopt your own. But this is the most effective strategies we can adopt for summary writing. Okay, now after the first reading, you need to read second time and this would be called the second reading. Now what you need to do for the second reading is underscore with a pencil the important facts containing the essential thoughts. This is a process of differentiation between what is essential and what is not. 
generally you will omit examples illustration conversations and repetitions now in the second writing first you have read the material and you have got the main idea you have made uh, you know topic sentences or the title you have given the title or to each passage if the writing has multiple paragraphs and if the writing is composed on one paragraph so there is no need to give the title because the main idea remains in your mind now in second reading you need to have a pencil in your your hand so that you can underline you can you can extract those lines which are important than the other writings than the other uh, sentences and most of the time what the students or what the people do for summary writing is that they omit examples illustration conversation and repetition or you can say the supporting details of the argument you need to more focus on the arguments rather than the supporting details mean supporting details are given to support the particular argument so you need to focus that the author or the writer has focused on this and that element as his or her argument rather than focusing on the illustration of that particular argument we read your selection to see that they are wise and adequate when you know when you have selected the particular material or you have underlined particular material in the writing that these are the important lines and these should these ideas should not be omitted in the writing so what you need to do is you have to reflect upon your own selection means the selection would be definitely figure out that whether you have selected the right material or not probably you might have uh, selected the raw some kind of uh, you know extra kind of uh, sentences which may seem you know un uh, sorry inessential to you so you can omit it afterward so rereading is also good for the uh for you you know for giving the thought on your own selection determine if your underscoring expresses the main ideas after you know underlining the main ideas or the selected you have select or whether if you have selected the, the different material or different sentences in different paragraph so now you have to uh focus that whether the selection is appropriate whether the selection represent the main ideas or if you compose your summary on the basis of these main ideas so would it be appropriate would it be adequate would it cover all the important points in the writing or the, of the writing so you need to focus on means you need to uh, again and again reflect upon your selection now final reading this would be you know rapidly and instantly we read the original now we reread it means this is the three time a third time we are reading the material so dwelling on the important facts selected for our present so you need to rapidly and intensely reread the original means now you are focusing on the original document and just focus on yes these are the important things i have figured out the right from the final so this is how you can compose a good summary now rules of making a pressy means what are the things you can take care of while composing the summary um there are different uh, you know uh, particular rules or regulations or you can say that uh, Uh, there are different kinds of tips you can do while making a summary read carefully first of all first of all read carefully first read 2 to 3 times at least 2 to 3 times you must read the passage carefully or the uh, material which is given to you for summary you need to read it uh, at least 2 to 3 times to understand the main thing why we read it two to three times because we just need to focus on the main theme the main ideas of the message passage so if we are not able to get the main idea in just one reading so we definitely need second time to read it and this is how you know at least two to three times give a read 
underlining na important ideas and essential points should be marked. We should focus on means whenever we are reading at, uh, for the second time and we read the passage, we need to underline the essential points and essential parts or essential claims, essential arguments of the writer. How we can do the outline of this? With the help of underlined ideas, draw the I draw the outline of your pressy. Let's suppose in the third writing or uh, it's sorry in the in the second read we have underlined different materials or different components of the reading material or different part of the reading uh, material to figure out the important components of the writing. So now we are able to make the outline or the structure means uh, you can remember the outlining which we have done there in the process writing. So we can make the outline of means how we can, you know, summarize, how we can recompose these things. Omissions. Now, what kind of things you can omit while my writing the summary? Omit all the unnecessary information or the long phrases which could be replaced by one by one word. All the adjectives and the adverbs can also be omitted in order to make a good pressing. Obviously, why the adjectives are used to show the quality of something, why the adverbs are used to show the uh, to you know modify the verbs, adverbs, it means these are the extra words which shows you know which are which are meant to uh, exaggerate the text, which are meant to uh, to you know uh, make the wordiness in the in the in the writing. But here, while composing the pressy, we need to use minimum words. So we do omit these kinds of words. Most often, people do uh, remove these kinds of words, extra words, like adjectives and words. We cannot remove, you know, different kinds of words because we should take the help of words in order to show the proper meaning of the sentences. So the unnecessary information uh, which have you know the long phrases exaggeration and one thing is being uh, discussed again and again in the writing and one uh, there is a one argument in one paragraph and to claim that argument the writer has given different example two to three examples so there isn't any need to show all the examples in the press and even the even we can omit all the examples do not omit what to not omit means when when we are focusing on when we are reading to to figure out different kinds of uh, ideas or the important ideas so what not to omit in the text important points and ideas which are essential to describe must not be omitted means we should take care that any important point or the idea does not or does not remain uh, selected means it, it does not remain unselected sorry so we need to focus that every essential component of the writing or essential point must be selected in outlining or when we are you know underscoring it size what is the actual size of the passage whenever you are writing whenever you want to uh, write a summary you need to make it one third of the original passage. So you need to shrink it down in that much that the size of the writing uh, uh, shrink into one third. One thing in student do that they themselves write in a in you know in in a small writing so that the writing seems uh, shorter. This is you know the very. Uh, I can say that this is one of the bad practice we do because the main thing is to shrink down your words not your writing style you need to shrink down your uh, writing uh, sorry your words in order to because we count the words in summary writing we don't count uh, we don't see that means your paragraph is composed on three lines or seven, four lines or five lines but rather what uh, uh, what is the counting of the words means the original was passage what is the counting accounting of the original passage and what is the counting of the 
of the summary word counting okay now the indirect speech always this is a must thing that a prasi must be written in indirect speech so you sh- you cannot add the dialogues in it you cannot say that uh, let's suppose if the writing has the direct speech in it that so and so person has said or said and the quotation is there you are not supposed to write those words as it is in the writing you can give the reference that the person the author has given the reference of dif- of different uh, philosophers or different you know researchers or different uh, programmers let's suppose this but you are not asked you are not you know you know you are not uh, directed to write in direct speech in prose tense and person what kind of tense we use in rest most of the time the prose writing is written in the third person as a, uh, by having the third person pronoun and also we use the past tense in prose writing in case of universal truth if the universal truth is there it must be written in present tense own words whenever we are composing the prose a prose should be written in your own words and the writer should abstain from borrowing words from the original prose so one needs to focus on writing on using his or her own words rather than taking the very main or uh, the you know lines even some people say some people some students do this that they take the whole sentence as it is from the passage or the direct passage to the summary this is the very wrong practice a summary cannot or a summary a summary we will not definitely be called a good summary if it has the same words which is there in the main original piece okay now the objective approach a prose writer should adopt an objective approach in it. he should not add his own personal ideas to a prose a logical order must also be followed what does it mean objectivity objectivity means whatever the idea is there in the writing of uh, definitely the ideas would be of author so you just need to summarize his or her idea you are not supposed to add your own ideas in the writing some in the writing of summary because you are you know you are making the summary of a particular piece so you cannot you cannot you you know you uh, it cannot be uh, ha- it cannot have the ideas of in fact any other person so the only idea the ideas of the author which has writ- which actually is there in the uh, original piece would be there in the summary also. we cannot take we cannot give our own ideas and we cannot even add any others ideas in the summary of any particular piece one paragraph there could be multiple paragraphs in the original text we have already discussed it that a writing can have multiple piece or the original piece can have multiple piece and if we are directed to write the summary of that kind of writing so we are not supposed to write in different paragraphs we are supposed to write these paragraphs uh we have to compose a particular paragraph a particular paragraph of the whole kind of uh given material means the origin if the original material has the particular uh writing uh, means the particular a uh, particular writing do have a particular writing does have a different paragraph means five paragraphs or the four paragraphs you are not supposed to make four or five paragraphs for summary means each paragraph may have a particular paragraph of in summary also no this is not this is not done in the summary writing you have to make a single paragraph of summary whenever you are directed to write a summary whether it the original piece do have when whether, whether the original piece has multiple paragraphs or a single paragraph rough draft after omitting all the unnecessary ideas the writer should prepare a rough draft to finalize it means a rough draft rough draft uh, sorry a rough draft must be uh, presented or must be uh, done before going before finalizing the sample 
after that you can you know finalize it having read the rough draft and pointed out some mistakes which may be found in rough draft the writer can prepare the final one means when you have the rough draft in your hand you can point out the mistakes in your you know writing probably you have omitted any article in it you have done some punctuation you might have done some punctuation mistake in it so you can rectify it before finalizing the final here is one sample you can have the idea that how we can make the summary i'm just reading it it is physically impossible for a well educated intellectual or brave man to make money the chief object of his thoughts just as it uh, just as it is for him to make his dinner the principal object of them all healthy people like their dream dinners but their dinner is not the main object of their life so all healthy minded people like making money or to like it and enjoy the sensation of winning it it is something better than money a good soldier for instance mainly wishes to do his fighting well he is glad of his pay very properly so and justly grumbles when you keep him 10 years without it till his main mission of life is to win battles not to be paid for winning them so of clergyman the clergyman's object is essentially baptize and preach not to be paid for preaching so of doctors they like fees no doubt ought to like them yet if they are brave and well educated the entire object of their lives is not fees they on the whole desire to cure the sick and if they are good doctors and the choice were fairly to them would rather cure their patient and lose their fee than kill him and get it and so with all the other brave and likely trained men their work is first their fee second very important always but still second now after reading this i do have a, a idea i do have a brief kind of idea about this so how we can make it we can make in this way you we can make you know the main points we can have the main points we can uh if you can you know we can give the title to the both paragraphs money making is a common attraction but it cannot be the principal aim of well educated intellectual brave person person this is what given in the second paragraph so how we can write the pressy now this is the pressy of the whole passage money making is a common attraction in life but it cannot be the principal aim of well educated cultured and brave a brave soldier prizes honor and victory more than his pay a good clerk clergyman is more interested in the moral welfare of his people than his return a doctor obviously a doc doc good doctor values the care of his patient far more than his fees thus with all the well educated intellectual and uh, sorry intellectual persons their work is first money next so this is how we can compose a pressy um pressy writing is one of the you know difficult task obviously and we can we can make the pressy in this way why you know pointing out the main point and then end up with a brief writing